so thankful for God and the blessings upon us. Got a special thing we're going to do this morning. Usually we dedicate one child, we dedicate three children this morning. Uh, we're going to give them back to the Lord. Tim and Brandon, if you bring your children this morning, I, I know I told y'all get with me this week. They recommitted their life back to the Lord last Sunday morning around these altars. Contacted me this week and asked them. They could dedicate their three children. I wasn't going to talk with them today. Didn't do it. But I just believe this morning that they, as they give these children back to the Lord today, and they're committing their lives back to the Lord today, the Lord's going to bless them. One thing we need to know about dedicating a child, this newborn up to these, is not save the child. These ch children are not saved today because these parents bring them for dedication. But today, Tim and Brandy Freeman, they're bringing their, their children today, is professing their dependence on the Lord to raise these children. As they come today, they're, they're coming today to profess that their desire is to live for the Lord, desire is to serve the Lord. And there are many struggles that we'll face trying to fulfill that desire and that commitment. Many things, many roadblocks will stand in our way, but I'm so thankful for this young family I had the honor and privilege of marrying these two uh, here on a, I believe it was a, was it a Thursday afternoon, I think, here in the church. It's a small ceremony. They saw the need to get married because they came to the Lord. They, they've had some struggles. They've fallen away from the Lord over the last year, but they've come back to the Lord. And they've got a long ways to go, but they're recommitting themselves, and they're making steps towards the church. I want us to support this young family. They've got these three children, and then they've got two other children as well. They have... From time to time, they're in their homes. Their, their family is full. Their home is full. And they've got to teach these children the way of the Lord. So what baby dedication is, we get so confused, I believe, about what baby dedication is. But what this is, is this family making a commitment as a family to the Lord. Tim and Brandon today bring their three children to say that we're going to commit ourselves to serve the Lord. And our children may see us serving the Lord. And we're going to bring them to an early knowledge knowing the Lord is their Savior. So today, as Tim and Brandon standing before me, as parents and guardians, they come today to dedicate and commit these vows. Tim and Brandon, I want to ask you this morning, do you come professing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your lives? Praise the Lord. They said we do, yes. And do you come to dedicate yourselves to biblical instruction, discipline, and love for these children? Do you come to dedicate these children in the name of the ultimate control and the will of God through the Lord Jesus Christ? Giving Him all authority. Giving Him all authority. As we look, church, I want to ask you this question. This family has said this morning they, they confess that Jesus Christ is their Savior. They confess that they have determination and desire to raise these children up in fear of God, teaching them and bringing them to an early, early knowledge of Christ. They, they're dedicating these children to Him. Church, I want to ask you, do you agree to support these parents by your example through acts of service? Do you agree to reinforce the biblical instruction of discipline and love of this, these children under the supreme rule of Jesus Christ? If so, you may signify by standing. Tim and Randy, I want you to look around this morning. The church family that loves you, that's committed to help you, whatever way we can. They stood this morning saying that they stand to help you as much as possible to set an example, to be an example. Church, not, don't let it just be words if we say and something we stand up because we we're asked to do so. But I want us to stand behind that commitment this morning. And when we see these children uh, struggling, we see this family struggling, and you see them, and it uh, seems like uh, times have got the best of them. Get on that phone and encourage this, these young parents, this young dad, this young mom. Encourage these children. Sunday school teachers, if you have these children in your class, pour into them. Give them your very best. They're making a commitment today that it's a commitment that they want to try to do their very best to hold to, but the devil will do everything he can to sift them as weak, to sift these children as weak, but they know where they need to be. And that's why they've come this morning to dedicate and commit these children to the Lord. And Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 through 9, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart,
heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk to them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thine house, and on thy, on thy pages. Proverbs 22 and 6, Train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Raise up these children the way they should go. They will not depart from it. Church, will you just stretch your hands in this direction towards this family today? And let's pray God's blessings upon this home and this family as they've dedicated their children this morning to the Lord. I, I'm doing my part this morning. Then Amy, Sister Amy will do her part and get them some certificates here in the next couple of weeks. But we just want to stretch our hands this way this morning just pray blessings upon this family and these children today. Heavenly Father, I pray, God, that you would touch this family today. I pray, God, that you touch each one of these children. Touch that. Touch mom, dear God. I pray, Father God, for your blessings upon them, dear God, as they commit themselves and their ways to you, dear God. I pray, Lord God, that you would touch them, that you'd help them, that you'd bless them, that you'd strengthen them, in order to walk with you, to live for you, to serve you, dear God, no matter what comes their way, dear God. I pray, Father God, that you bless and minister in their lives. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand clap. Praise the Lord.